All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Looking with Lenore. I'm your host, George Lenore, visual artist here in Atlanta, Georgia. I own LenoreDesigns.com and Whip Paint ATL. And of course, this little vlog here, Looking with Lenore. All right, so first, if you're new to the channel, thank you. I appreciate you uh, for coming and tuning in. And if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay abreast of what we do. If you're a returning visit visitor, thank you very much for the support. All right, so today is my birthday. I thought I was gonna be in Mexico chilling. However, there's a hurricane that did not want me to go. So I am gonna celebrate at the crib. And today I'm gonna be testing out Nemirov Honey Pepper Vodka. It's an eight approved vodka. It comes from the Ukraine. Uh, the recipe is about 600 years plus old. Um, I wanna say it originated around 1872, which is indicated on the bottle. Um, now also the honey, of course it's honey. And you're gonna have uh, chili pepper, which gives the chili or the pepper taste. So we're gonna test this out and see what we get. Stay tuned. All right, so you know what we do. We do three rounds. Um, we're about to go ahead and try this first round. And once again, we're talking about Nemirov Honey Pepper Vodka. All right, so. Hmm, that's interesting. Smells like vodka. Oh, okay, it does have a, a honey looking color, yellowish tone. It's not really as golden as I thought it would be. It's almost like a, almost lemony color. And as you can tell, I have two shot glasses. One is going to my camera lady over here. And we're about to test this right now. Cheers. Smells like vodka. I'm not really getting anything else. And that's smooth. I'm getting the sweetness of, of the honey from that. It's just a little tiny bite. And that's from that pepper. I don't think it's from the alcohol. Man, that's pretty good. Surprisingly good. I wasn't sure what I was gonna get with this. But yeah, it has a really, really pronounced honey flavor. On the back end, you start getting that chili. I'm starting to get a little bit of heat from it right now. But overall, I mean, that is good. It's pretty smooth. All right, so stay tuned. We're gonna go ahead and put it on the rocks next. All right, guys, welcome back. We had that first shot. Oh my God, it was so flavorful. We had that honey flavor coming through, had that pepper on the back end. All right, we're gonna put it on the rocks. I'm pretty sure the honey should come out a little bit more and we're probably gonna lose some of that pepper. So let's see what happens. Get a little chill. I'm gonna get high class. Break out the, the bar stone here. I can be sophisticated sometimes. All right, so let's see what we get, guys. Very smooth, still getting some of that honey. It's not as powerful as on the shot, but yeah, you lose all that pepper once you put it on the rocks. But 
Eight approved vodka. Man, this, this is real, very, very smooth. Very, very smooth. Mm. All right, guys. You know how I do. Three rounds, that was two. We got one more to go. All right, so welcome back. We are to our third round. So far we had a shot and we put it on the rocks. The shot, we got all that honey flavor. We got some pepper on the second round on the rocks. We lost all that pepper, uh, but we still had some of that honey flavor. I'm pretty sure we're gonna lose everything right now because we are about to uh, come up with a concoction here. It's gonna be three parts cranberry, one part uh, peach schnapps, and one part vodka. So here we go. And usually I pre-measure this stuff, but uh, I was a little lazy today. I figured I'd do it on camera. Each snaps. Yeah, I'm thinking it's gonna be a pretty good drink. Um, but I think we're gonna lose um, the honey. And of course, we're gonna lose that pepper. Uh, but we'll see. All right, honey bunny. All right, cheers. Pretty good flavor profile. Um, pretty much cranberry. I think I should cut back on that cranberry. Maybe do two shots of cranberry and then one to one. That'd probably be much better. Um, but overall, it's a pretty good drink. Or either you can increase the vodka. Kind of depends upon you know how you drink. Um, if you want more of that vodka flavor, then yeah, give it another shot. Let's review. All right, we're talking about Nimoroff Honey Pepper Vodka. Vodka is very, very smooth. Um, if you want all of the flavor, my recommendation is to take shots of it. Shot, shot, shot. If you want just something to chill out to, put it on the rocks. You know, I think it's very, very smooth. It's easy to drink. And just like any other vodka, you can mix it. Um, have no problems with it. So if you come across this in your store, pick it up. You know, I'm a vodka drink. I love vodka more than anything else. So I'm always trying vodka. I kind of laid off the vodka because I felt like I was doing too many vodka reviews. So this has been another episode of Liquid with Lenore. I'm going to finish this up. See you guys soon. This has been another episode of Liquor with Lenore. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to stay abreast of our content. And be sure to drink responsibly.